Hey guys, this is Chris again. Uh, I wanted to take a minute to share with you uh, one of the amazing creatures we have out here in our, our little nature corner. This is a giant black ant. Uh, some people call it a bullet ant. Um, the technical Latin name for it is Dinopanera. Uh, that's the, the main species, I think. And there are, there are a couple of different subspecies uh, of it, all very similar. Uh, some are shiny, some are not. Some are more brown towards the back. All of them are about the same size. Some live in Australia. We're located here in Bahia, Brazil, about three hours in from the coast. Uh, it's a semi-arid climate, but we do have some residuals of large, uh, what they call Atlantic forests, which are or old growth uh, forests, which is the habitat uh, for this particular ant. Uh, very beautiful, very elegant. Uh, I first saw him, or first, my first encounter with this guy was uh, my first visit here to the, the land before we purchased it. And uh, couldn't believe it, couldn't believe the ant, ants were this big. Uh, he was all by himself. I thought that was kind of strange. Usually ants come in uh, groups, but he was all by himself which I learned later uh, through doing some research that uh, they tend to be by themselves. Uh, they do live in colonies of a hundred to a thousand, uh, depending on the information that you read or where you're getting it. I have, uh, the only time I've ever seen more than one of these guys together uh, is when uh, one was carrying a, a dead one, uh, which I've seen it several times now. I'm not sure um, what they're doing, you know, with the dead ones. The dead ones uh, look similar to the still one I have here. And you can see it's about three centimeters. Uh, and every day, I mean, you'll find them. You'll find them on the ground completely intact, just like you see this one. Suspended animation. Uh, they're not abundant. You don't see them everywhere every day. Uh, but it, it won't take you but a few minutes to, to walk out and find one, especially after the rains. Uh, they tend to show up. And that's where they would uh, bring in one of the benefits they have, and that is to help plant, help plant seeds if they take the seeds into the ground. Uh, they also have been using the the venom uh, to help develop uh, painkillers of all things. Uh, this ant has the or is ranked number one as far as the insect sting pain scale. Uh, some say it's it's like a gunshot. It's like being shot by a bullet. Not sure if that's why they call it a bullet ant or if because She's nice, shiny, and black. Not sure. Uh, some species uh, of this ant are on the, uh, have been declared endangered uh, by the Brazilian government. Not sure if this particular species is, is one of those. We think this one is the uh, Dinopanera quadricep. And I don't know if that's, I mean, it makes sense that the name comes from the, the four sections of the body. And then there's also one that looks very similar uh, called a Lucida. Uh, and if, if any of you guys know, I'd love to know, you know, by watching this video, if you can determine that. But I thought she was, uh, from the very first time I saw her, I thought she was an amazing creature. Never seen anything like it. 
I grew up in uh, the United States. Spent a lot of my life outside. And again, never seen anything like it. So thought I'd share. And again, if you guys have any information, uh, please leave that in the comments. And I'll continue to do some research. If I get anything more, uh, I'll share it with you. Until next time.